How's it going everyone? My name is Paul. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be replacing the fan on my PlayStation 4. Uh, so what happened was I was playing online and it overheated. It uh, gave me a big red line light down it and uh, told me to turn it off, let it cool down. So I bought a replacement fan. This came with the tools and some thermal paste and stuff. So if you're going to be doing this yourself, you're going to need tools, and thermal paste and stuff. Um, some security bits, I don't know which ones, T8, T10, I don't know. You start with the shiny part. This is an original PlayStation 4, I think it's the, what is it, the 1001? Yeah, 1001A. So you start with the shiny part, just pull it off. I've done this a few times, so I'm going to try to do it by memory. Um, Probably won't be able to do a great job. I haven't replaced the fan, of course, but I have uh, opened this up to clean it once in the past. And immediately, in that Phillips, start by getting the hard drive out. So you just undo that little screw there, of course. I'm really good at not undoing screws all the way. Just pull it out, send it off to the side. We're gonna switch over to the small. So these are not security bits, or yes they are, I don't know, anyways. I don't know if this is the right order to do stuff in. Like I said, I've done this um, a few times, so I'm gonna try to do it from memory. There are better ways to do it, I'm sure. There are definitely better videos to watch if you just wanna tear yours down or uh, need to do a repair yourself. If not, hey, you know, thanks for tuning in though, either way. So there's all those. This is, I think this is the part that I hate. Yeah. Yeah, so you get that first click, and then you pull until a second click, which I really hate, because it always feels like it's gonna break. Which, you know, it probably feels like it's gonna break because I didn't take that less the the screws on the uh, back out. So let's get those out. Those are also the uh, T8 or whatever security bit. Same size that we just used. Okay, I should have a little more luck with this now. Maybe? Still not. Gosh. See, I feel like maybe I'm doing it in the wrong order. I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna take the bottom part off first, actually, because it actually it should, yeah. It just comes right off fairly easily. That's what we're going for. All the way down there. Lots of other stuff in the way. So then we'll flip it back over. Now we'll get this thing. Get that first click. 
Make sure it doesn't break. I don't, I hate this part so much. I just. Okay, I don't know, maybe I already got it. Let's just see if I can get the uh, end down here off. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so. The next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this, uh, no, let's look at the other side real quick. Yeah, let's do the power supply. So that's here. There's three screws, two Phillips, one uh, security bit it looks like. These screws don't actually come out, out. They have this like long metal, long screw with a little clip on them. Pretty easy to remember where they go. And we're back to the security. Oh, there's two. There's another one over there. Oh, three. Goodness. You gotta pay attention. Do that. I think. I. Oh God, I hate. Okay, so we're gonna just. We're not gonna undo this part on the power supply. We're gonna get it from the board underneath. But we're gonna reach from here underneath to get under. Get a grip on it. Then I also like to use where the screw was on the other side over here. Use both of those. You want to be really careful, of course. Okay, don't pull up too fast. So you want to be so careful. These connectors go into the power supply there, so that's why you got to be so careful and you want to wiggle, and that's why it's so hard to get out of there because they're very long prongs and, yeah. But you can just set it, you can just lean it back there, back behind it, wherever you need to, so you can get a good grip on this and carefully wiggle it out of there. There's your power supply. Okay.
so I'm gonna go ahead and undo some cables here while I'm here. With these, the uh, connector, you gotta press down on the uh, little metal part here and pull out at the same time. So there's two fingers, you know, one, one on there, kind of push down on it and wiggle it out. That's what I do. That's for both sides. Goes to the disk drive, I guess. Yep. There's Here's our I think this is the Bluetooth antenna. Routes through this little clip here. Underneath uh, I believe that would be the power supply for the disk drive. Pitch again, gently. If I can, okay. Got some pliers. Hopefully that helps. Well, I hate using pliers on these kind of connectors. There we go. Now I can get this out. Some clips there. Keep it in place. I do like to use pliers for this part though. Get a nice grip on it and just pull straight up. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, now we're going to move to the other side, I guess. I don't know. I'm just going to keep going. We're going to take this off. Don't forget about this. I'm pretty sure you just. Does that work? <laughs> just take a small screwdriver and get under it. Is that right? Yeah. Take something small, flat, something, get underneath of it, and just pop it straight up. Okay, and then we can take the rest of the screws out, back to the security bit. Hello, security. Yeah. Luckily, all these screws are pretty uniform, so. Oh, 
I think that's all of them. go. It's important, make sure you have these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are cooling pads, I guess, that go over your memory things, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but it's important to have all those. Uh, make sure they're either on here, stuck to these, or on that. Uh, then this can come out. Pretty sure. You want to start in the back. You lift up and then you slide it out from the front there. And then again, if you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you got two stuck here, make sure you have all of them when you put it back together. It's very important. This is our thermal paste. You want to make sure that you have that. Uh, you want to clean it. Yeah. Anytime, anytime you get this far down into a machine, if you, you know, if you expose the thermal paste, clean it and put fresh on. So I'm going to just pause this and do that real quick. You guys don't need to watch. All right. I'm all done with that. As you can see, just use some uh, Q-tips and alcohol. Clean that up, clean that up there. Um, I, I, I don't know, is there any, what, what's left? Anything? Okay, so I think at this point, um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Ah, I see some screws. Those are hard to see. Three Phillips right here in the middle, it looks like. Maybe more. We'll get these out and we'll go from there. Uh, yeah, that was it. Okay, so again lift from the back clear all these little black pegs that Help hold it in place Yeah, come on now. All right There you go. There's your heat heat exchanger dealio mine's a little messy as you can tell because my fan sucks. It's old And uh, can't do a good job. So I'm just going to set this off to the side for now. I'll clean it up before I put it back. And now we're down to the fan. I'm going to salvage these. Take them and put them on the new one. Anyways, there's a two, one, two screws. Phillips head as well. So take those. There's a little clip there. Hold it in place. I'll put it on the next one. So yeah, uh, yeah, it's a little dirty, a little messy. Yeah, it was it was gobbed up with dust. I mean, there were there were fingerfuls of dust in this thing the first time I cleaned it out. Uh, just never had the confidence to open something up before, you know, something this expensive. So I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to pause again, get some uh, compressed air, get this cleaned up. Okay, so cool. I got that cleaned up. 
a little bit. Not perfect, but it's better than it was. Put this in place. Is that how that went? And then I guess it went up like that. Yep. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. Hang on a second, this is a little different. It's not quite fitting on there. Which is okay, we'll get it on there. Okay, so this back one's a problem. I only had two screws for this, but there's spots for three. Not quite sure what to do about that. But, hey, we'll figure it out. Probably just use two. You know. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty secure in there, considering it doesn't quite fit right. And then we'll do the two outside screws and hope that it hope it doesn't make a difference okay considering it doesn't go in there I think it makes a difference Yeah, there we go. Okay, what's going on everybody? Uh, so what happened was the battery died on my uh, phone right as I replaced the fan. So basically, as soon as I finished the job, the battery died. Kind of best timing, I guess, right? Uh, anyways, I just watched the video in reverse and figured out how to put this back together. So now it's back together and uh, I'm gonna go play some games. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, uh, you know, like, subscribe, all that junk, and we'll see you on the next one, folks.